what do you do in this situation? Uh, on, on Clubhouse today, um, an agent, uh, Seth, had a situation where wrote an offer, has an addendum attached to the purchase contract. The addendum is referenced within the purchase contract to be a part of the contract. Uh, they negotiate. Buyers and sellers end up signing the purchase contract, but the seller does not sign the addendum. The next day, the listing agent reaches out to buyer's agent to Seth and says, hey, sellers are good with all terms of the contract, but they're not good with the addendum. Are you in contract to purchase that home or are you not in contract? That was the question today. And I think it brings up a great point. Uh, Larry, um, Larry is also a, a broker owner. Um, he was able to come up and share his thoughts on it and you know the practical way versus legal. Um, you know, with this being so much, uh, you know, newer, uh, and, you know, in the beginning of a contract period instead of it being towards the end, kind of plays into it. My understanding, my belief is you would not technically be in contract because you referenced an addendum that was part of the contract that wasn't signed. Um, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments below. Uh, but my understanding is if there's something attached to the contract, those documents need to be executed on, or there needs to be a counter offer removing that addendum or changing terms of that addendum. Um, and then at that point, you can execute the, the counter offer and the, uh, the counter offer because that's referencing the addendum and therefore uh, the addendum may not need to be signed in that case. But I'm curious of your thoughts. Would you would you consider yourself being in contract? Technically, you have a, a signed purchase contract, but you do not have a signed addendum that's referenced within the contract. Um, and we had a great conversation and discussion on that. Um, and you know, from an agent standpoint, you know, my question is: is what do you tell a client? Right? Um, what do you tell a client? Hey, like we're in contract, but not really because they didn't sign this addendum. You know, let me figure it out. And I think as an agent, um, you know, on either side, this is the, this is the time where you know you don't text. This is the time where you don't email. Uh, this is the time when you just jump on the phone and you make sure uh, all parties are clear on the offer and the terms within the offer, and and make sure that all documents are are made aware of. So that way. Um, you don't put yourself and your clients into one of these type of situations. And I'm not saying Seth did anything wrong. I think this is where, uh, within our business, um, you'll hear agents complain about the lack of communication. And it's it's in instances where this, uh, you know, things like this come up, where you're kind of in a in a gray area in an unknown area. Um, but to me, like I said, I would probably tell my client, like, hey, technically we're not in contract yet. Um, they haven't signed this addendum. Let me, you know, call the listing agent, get on the same page with them, figure it out, and then we go from there. So, want to hear your comments? I would love to see you and hear you on Clubhouse. Feel free to join our calls. Um, if you guys are not part of Clubhouse, it's a social audio app. Um, we're there every single Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Um, we're in the Central Ohio Real Estate Club. Um, it's a bunch of just real estate professionals that get together. And we just try to help each other grow in business. Uh, we share our wins uh, every day. We share any challenges that we face. Uh, we share any goals and, and just, you know, one-off topics. So um, I would love to see you in there. Join us. It's free. Um, you know, you can just listen in. You don't have to participate. But again, it's just real estate professionals getting together to, uh, to help each other grow in business.